Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is Nikki here. So today I have this classic festive look. I definitely wanted to do a red lip incorporated look for Christmas and I wanted to do it glam. And I just wanted to wear the hair sleek and straight. Let me know what you think of this look down below because I am living for it. I feel very sultry and quite sexy and I don't know. I just feel quite grown up in this look. A red lip is always a little bit of a shocker for me because I don't wear it that much. When I do wear it, I'm like, oh, that's powerful. Anyways, if you guys want to see how I achieve this makeup look, then just keep on watching. Okay, let's start off with a clean base and then I'm going to moisturise. I'm going to be using my Glam Glow. This is the Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturiser in this shade Sun Glow. I love this. I love illuminating moisturisers and primers just because they make my skin look really healthy and plump. And that's what this look is all about. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of this onto the skin and massage it in. I used to use this so much back in the day and then I don't know what happened was you know when everything gets messy in your makeup you can't find anything well I've just recently organized my makeup and I found my love for this it just smells so nice the only thing is I'm coming to the end of it so I'm gonna have to get another one it just gives you a really nice kind of fresh glow also I've noticed that this white blouse look how big the collars are it's like an oversized really low neck white blouse but I look like a waitress or something in it. Mm, I don't know if I'm feeling it. For foundation today, we are going to be going in with the Giorgio Armani. This is the Luminous Silk Foundation in the shade number nine. I haven't used this baby for a really, really long time, but I know that I love it. And it's such a good high-end satin finish foundation. It's just really nice and silky. It blurs out any pores. It just blurs the skin and make it look, makes it look airbrushed. So I'm going to pop it on and blend it out using a damp beauty blender. For some reason I feel like I'm looking extra ashy around my mouth area that could possibly be because I haven't been to get this area threaded for a couple of weeks now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my, that was that, the Ordinary Serum Foundation. This is in the shade 3.1 White. It's very dark for me but it is very also orange for me so it's just going to correct around this area. I'm going to take a little bit of this, just pump it on this area and then blend it out into the rest of my foundation to just get rid of that ashy grey tone. Okay, so for me, I feel like that's just taken down that ashiness. The orange has just counteracted it. You have no idea how many like foundations and concealers I could possibly use. I use all different colours on my skin because I feel like all different parts of my face need different colours. It's just weird. But I use white. I use like stark orange. I can use a really, really, really dark colour. Darker than my skin tone, about 10 times darker. It's just, it's weird. I'm going to next conceal. I'm going to go in with my trusty concealer because I want this to be a very flawless finish. We're going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Warm Sand. This is my absolute favourite. I know I've used it in many a tutorials now, but I just can't get enough of it. So I'm going to pop a little bit of this underneath my eyes more so, and then just a little bit on my top lip area and blend that out, just so we can get one blank canvas and everything looks one tone. Do you know what? If there was like a procedure, there probably is out there now. We they do everything, don't they? But if there was a procedure that enabled you to get rid of your dark circles and it still looked natural, then I think I'd get it done. Because I feel so much better. I feel like a different person when I've got concealer on. Like I feel like I just feel so different. Now we're gonna highlight a little bit. We're gonna be using the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Waterproof Concealer, and this one is in the shade Medium. I like it because it's got more of that kind of yellow undertone to it, which I like, and it's waterproof, and it's just a really good concealer. So I'm gonna pop a little bit underneath my eyes and down the center of my face as well, and then I'm gonna buff this out again using my damp beauty blender, using the same side, so it's not gonna be too light, and it's just gonna blend into the foundation, but just brighten. Now I'm someone who just loves cream contouring and cream bronzing. It's just something that I like to lay down as the base and then I'll powder on top to set it. So for bronzer in particular actually, I'm going to be using the Match Master by MAC Concealer in the shade number 9. I love the undertone of this because it's got that ready orangey warm tone. And for the lip that I want to do, I think oranges and reds are going to go really nicely as an undertone. So I'm going to pop this in more of a 3 shape down the sides of my face. And then I'm just going to use a brush just to buff it out, just to add a little bit of colour back into the skin and make us look really nice and bronzy and sun-kissed. I'm going to go back into that concealer and then I'm going to take my Iconic London, this is one of the HD brushes, and I'm just going to take a little bit of product on my HD brush. I'm going to use this just to carve out a little bit of a nose contour, but then it's going to go into my crease as well, just to add a little bit of colour and a bit of definition to the central part of my face. 
it's so weird because you know when these brushes first came out not the iconic london ones when they first came out i think mac was the first brand not to come out with it but probably the first brand that i was aware of that had them i was like why would you use things that look like a toothbrush like why and if i'm honest i don't think i like them but these iconic london ones i love this for the nose they're really soft they just kind of i don't know they just work they really work for a tiny bit of contour just to chisel out my cheekbones because i've got a lot of bronze going on i'm going to be using the makeup revolution this is the fast face foundation stick in f15 and i'm just going to pop this suck in my cheeks pop it where the kind of cheekbone hits where i want to chisel and then i'm just going to take that brush again and just buff it upwards just to create a shadow to give us the illusion that we've got higher cheekbones now that that is done i'm going to go ahead i'm going to fill in my brows i'm going to be using my benefit this is my precisely my brow pencil in the shade number five because i have been digging this pencil it's just a little bit softer than the anastasia that i use the brow pomade i find it a little bit harsh now it's so weird because i just I feel like you jump from one product to another and then you fall in love with it and I've absolutely fell in love with this. So I'm just going to brush my eyebrows through with the spoolie and then I'm going to fill them in, keeping them soft still. I don't want them too harsh and I'm going to set them with my Anastasia Clear Brow Set. Now just to carve out my brows quickly, I'm going to carve them underneath. I'm actually going to take a little bit of the product on top. I'm going to be using my Kevin O'Conn Central Skin Enhancer. This is the one in SX10 as per usual like why do i not pick up another concealer listen guys i want to tell you a story now this isn't to kind of bring any names up or anything like that it's just i was on instagram the other day and i received a dm right and um it was from i assume a female because of nowadays you can't tell who's online and she was like you need to um stop pouting like stop putting your list like pressing your lips together or just I don't know just stop pouting because it makes you look really ugly in your photos um but you have a really pretty face now i know or i don't know 100 percent, but i don't honestly think that this was said in like a bad way or i don't think she had any ma is it called malice i don't think there was any malice behind it i don't think it was said in a rude way i think she was just expressing how she felt and then she sent me a couple of screenshots of my face in certain photos with arrows pointing like don't do this and if you can't stop doing it then maybe get braces for your teeth or get fillers and i was like right there's one thing saying oh god <coughs> i'm gonna try there's one thing saying hurtful things to someone because i might pout in photos because i like it. it makes me feel a bit more confident it makes me feel sexy and i like my face like that right i I feel like everyone's got a certain style and everyone does a certain pose or goes to a certain pose when you're taking a photo it's just human nature you know what side you like you know what side of your face you like and stuff like that anyway i wasn't really gonna respond because i didn't want to say anything hurtful and if i'm honest i didn't i don't think it was said in a mean way i just think it was said she was just saying it because it was something that was annoying annoying her about me i just feel like now on social media People need to be a bit more careful about what they're saying. They are responsible for what they say. And I just think telling someone, just telling someone, like, you should get Phyllis. Sorry? Like, what? That's not even something that I've ever thought about. And also, honestly, if I'm honest, when I take photos, I've always wondered about these lines down here. And I just have them naturally. I can't get rid of them. I press my lips a little bit just to make them look a little bit fuller because that's what I like. But... Like, I can't help these lines. They're just naturally there. Anyway, I'm not getting filler. And I did message her back saying, it's okay, hon. Like, I'm all right. It doesn't bother me. But I just want to say to you guys out there that might be typing these things. You may not be, but just think about what you're saying. Because even if you mean it in, like, a really good way, it could come across harsh. Or you don't know who you're saying the message to. They might have a complex about it. They might already know about it. And they want to get it changed. But they can't afford it. I just don't. I don't know. I don't think there's any excuse. I'm just going to blend this out now. That I've given myself cloud brows. Okay. If I'm honest. I have no idea what I'm going to do with my eyes. I just know I'm going to start. And then we'll get a feel for it. I'm going to be using the NYX Grind Palette. I love this eyeshadow palette and I think it's very, very affordable. There are different ones. If you wanted a dupe for it, Revolution have ones that are dupes for it. They have the Reloaded palettes and they're amazing. But for this one, I'm going to be taking this kind of mustardy shade. I love this one for the crease colour. I just think it's 
beautiful and I think I told you guys that in my last video I'm going to take the same colour on a fluffy brush and I'm just going to pop it into my crease I'm also going to take this a little bit into my inner corner and then wing it out as well now a little trick that I have when I want to add a little bit of definition to the eyes but I still want them to look soft so I don't want to go in with like the harsher colours like the, the more reddish brown or the dark brown or even black sometimes what I do is I'll stick with the same colour but I'm going to use a brush that is a little bit more tapered and it is dense so it's just harder to the touch. If I pop this into the same colour and I blend this into the crease now the colour is going to be a lot stronger and it's just going to give me that added bit of definition without using another colour. Let's take that colour and just blend it on our lower lash line. Right, I am actually going to take that dark brown now, just a little bit of the dark brown, and I'm going to pop it just into the outer V of my eyes because I feel like I'm not getting enough on camera. I feel like it needs to be that tiny bit stronger. And then just build that up to the extent that you want. If you want it a little bit darker, just add a tiny bit more. I'm going to take a mix of that ready brown and that dark brown now, and I'm just going to smoke this out on my lower lash line. Now I feel like that red brown, if you use a little bit more of that, it's going to come more as warm and we want that because when we do a red lip, I think that will tie in really nicely. I want to achieve a really glossy kind of foiled lid. I don't necessarily want it glittery, like packed on glitter. I feel like my last previous looks have been like that, but I want it to be foiled and just kind of glossy. So for this, I'm going to be using the Revolution. This is their foiled eyeshadow in rebound it also comes with i guess this is what is it like a primer so i'm going to take a couple of drops of the primer pop it on to the foiled eyeshadow take it onto a flat brush and then i'm going to pop this from the inner corner more so just like a half cut crease and kind of just slide it on and see what effect that gives us let's take a little bit of this on the brush and then i'm just going to pop it into the inner corner maybe just take a little bit of that brown on your brush and then just kind of, where well, you may have gone a little bit overboard and got excited, just clean up. It's funny because I feel like I'm showing you guys one style of eyeshadow in the last couple of tutorials. I don't mean to, it's just happening and I don't know how to stop it. I really didn't want to use glitter in this look, I just felt like these eyes look beautiful as they are. However, I came across this in my makeup collection, this is the Makeup Forever and I believe it's difficult because I don't have a number, it's like 91002 and they're like glitter particles, very similar to the MAC Reflex Gold glitter. I want to use this, so I'm just going to take a little bit of this on my brush and I'm just going to pop it into my inner corners just for an extra bit of sparkle. I feel like just a glitter inner corner highlight, I don't know what it is. They give me life at this time of year, I love a glitter corner highlight, I just, oh, it's so beautiful. If you've got MAC Gold Reflex, Reflex Gold glitter, they don't get this one because it's exactly the same. I think the glitter is a little bit finer. And that's what I would say. I think the glitter is a little bit finer. But I'm living. Let me add a little bit of mascara to my lashes before I go back on to skin. I'm going to be using the iconic London mascara. I haven't used this bad boy in a while. But I do love it. I'm just going to coat my lashes. Not a lot. Just coat them because we will be putting false lashes on. Moving on up to powder. Because I like to work with all my cream products and liquid products. And so now we're going to move on up to powder. I like to start off just by baking. Not really baking actually. Just sitting underneath my eyes. I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty. This is the sugar cookie one. I like to go fairly light. And I want quite a bright under eye for this. So I'm just going to pop, using the Easy Bake brush, just pop the powder on and then using the other side I'm just going to buff it away. Honestly guys, I didn't like powder. You know I didn't like powder. You guys always used to be like, do you not powder your under eyes? Like, do you not powder your skin? And I used to say no, but now with this powder, I don't even use too much of it, just a tiny bit. It just kind of fills in all them fine lines and... You can see it just looks so smooth. Let's move on to bronzing the skin now because I'm doing a red lip. I know that whenever I do a red lip, I have to over bronze. I don't know. I need to look extra bronzy, extra sun kiss. It just kind of goes. You want to be bronzy with a red lip. It just works. So I'm going to be using my MAC Give Me Sun. This is my ride or die bronzer. I love it so much. I'm just going to take that same brush that I used to cream bronze and just buff it over that just to set it in place. Let's do a little bit of a chiseled cheekbone just to set that contour in place and strengthen it. I'm going to be using the LA Girl. This is a Pro Face HD High Definition Matte Pressed Powder in the shade Coco. I'm going to go into this with this kind of like dense straight brush. And then I'm just going to pat this in and buff it in to give us a nice contoured cheekbone. I want to add the tiniest touch of blush. So I'm going to be using MAC. This is in the Mineralize Blush in Warm Soul. It's got that tiny hint of pink but it's nothing too overpowering. 
I'm just going to pop it on with this Revolution fluffy brush on the apples of the cheeks and then blend it up towards the temples. Moving back to eyes now, I'm going to take Urban Decay's Perversion Liner. This is the blackest eyeliner you'll ever own. I'm just going to line my waterline, but very carefully because I don't want to smudge it out too much. I'm going to go ahead now, and I'm so sorry, but I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Farrow Lashes again. I can't get enough of them. And just because they kind of wing out, they look really sultry on the eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pop these babies right on and I'll come back to you guys. Now that my lashes are on, I'm going to go back in with my mascara and I'm just going to pop this on my bottom lashes. Now I think I made a little bit of a mistake. I wanted to add my iconic London Illuminator Drops, the original ones, but they're wet. And I have such a thing about putting a wet product on top of where I've powdered. But you know what, I really want that kind of shine and a glaze as opposed to like glitter or like a powder effect. I think it just looks so different when you've got more of a liquid and it looks wet on the skin. So I'm just going to risk it for a chocolate biscuit. I'm going to take a couple of drops of this and a fluffy brush. I'm just going to buff the liquid into the brush. And I'm going to buff that onto the areas that I want it, which are the high points of my face. Mainly the cheekbones, but a little bit down the center of the face as well. Guys, that surprisingly... I'm getting more and more makeup on my collar. That surprisingly has worked so well. I was a little bit concerned, but it looks really nice. It honestly looks like a little bit of like a face gloss or a balm on. And it just looks healthy. Mm. Moving on to lips. I'm going to start off by lining my lips. I'm going to be using the Technic. This is the Chunky Pencil in number four, Lady Luck. And it's kind of like a reddy, browny sort of tone. I'm just going to line my lips with this all the way around. And I like to always fill in the corners as well. I'm going for a slightly darker colour because I like to add a little bit of depth to my lips. I genuinely really like this colour lip. Would fill them in, but I want to do red. This is such a nice colour and they're so creamy. For lips, I'm going to go with a Huda Beauty Liquid Matte. Now I've been using a lot of Huda recently because I got a nice, sweet PR package and I just love her stuff. So I'm going to be using, this is her Liquid Matte in the shade Cheerleader. It's a beautiful red. I'm going to be popping this all over the lips. Now with the red lip, I love it. But I feel like it's a tiny bit safe because it's a darker red. I feel like I could go a little bit louder. So I'm going to mix this with, this is the Huda Heartbreaker. I'm just going to pop this in the center just to brighten this lip up a bit. Now I'm just going to spritz a little bit with my MAC Fix Plus and we are done. And that, guys, I guess is it for this festive look. This is my festive classic look. I definitely did want to do a red lip because it is Christmas time. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Let me know down below what you think of this look. If you're going to wear it with your hair, just wear it down and sleek and straight because I feel like if there's too much going on, you don't want too much to take away from a classic bold red lip. Anywho, I love you guys so very much. Let me know all your thoughts down below. And I will see you in my next video. Mwah.